Howdy folks, this is Kurt and Kendra with My Wind Stuff again. And today we're going to be putting together the Vega Airplane Spinner. That's item number 26319 by Premier Kites and Designs. And like all things, there's always a little trick or two to the trade. So uh, there's a couple of tricks on this one. Um, I'm going to try to work you through. So this one, just pull the nose cone off, pull the C-clip off. There's a metal washer, you can leave that on there because the propeller is going to spin against that. The tail of the plane is going to point downwind. You're going to take that little C-clip and put it on. If for some reason you're having problems, put it against something hard and push. Put your nose cone on. That portion is finished. Right? There's four uh, fiberglass rods in here. Two of them are of equal length. So there's a hole on each side of the plane. We're going to take this. These are going to crisscross. So you're going to go through here. And then on the underside, this is going to go in between that fabric. So that could be a little difficult. As you can see. Okay. Now this one's going to come through the other side. It's going to go under that fabric again. Okay, so you can see they've made a crisscross. The little short stick in here is going to be for these wheels. So put that in there, push that together, real simple. Okay, the wings. There's this square shaft with that little nut on it. Make sure that's backed out far enough that it will fit over that square shaft. Push that down, tighten that nut up. Then your wing supports are gonna go into these rubber connectors. Okay. Windshield is on a Velcro. So just lay that on there. And then on the sides, there's Velcro also. So just wrap that around. Connect that to your Velcro. All right. Now Amelia has a nice clean windshield. All right. So one of the tricks to the trade is this back portion right here. This does have a hole in it. You can just barely see it there, and that's for this to go through. This can be tarred hard. <coughs> Excuse me. You can use this propeller shaft to move that around to line it up. It's not detrimental if it goes on the bottom of it. It's not like your plane's not going to perform well. It'll still work just fine. But just so you know, there is a hole in there. Here you're going to notice there's three holes. There's one on this tip, two in the middle, and there's not one out there. This strut is going to go through here. And again, this is one of those hard parts. that under the fabric. You're going to come out this hole. And again, one of those hard parts again. And then look for that, that hole. Run this through it. And then back through this hole. So this conceals this strut. And again, it's not exactly easy. Sometimes I'll grab a little something to open that up a little bit. And push that in. Okay. And then you're going to push this all the way through and then back into there. It's not going to stick out like this. I'm going to leave mine out because this is going on our display and we may need to take this apart for a customer and repackage it. So I'm going to leave it out just a little bit. And this one has a 3 8 support pole with the stainless steel collet on it. You're going to put it on here. You're going to push that down hard. Okay. And once again, your ground mount. This is a 3 8 ground mount. Put that in the ground first. Put your support pole in. Put your Vega plane in there. And there you have it. So item number 26319 by Premier Kites and Designs. And once again, Kurt and Kinder from My Wind Stuff. want to thank you.